dun 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 Friday, the uh, it's the April the fifth, two thousand and twenty-four. Thank you for joining me once again. If it's your first time, buckle up, buckle down. Where can you find these videos on Instagram? Dropped every Wednesday and Friday. Where else? Oh, on YouTube. Subscribe there for the full-length videos. Check out Patreon.com/slash Rob Sandra if you'd like to physically, financially support the show. Uh, if you've been with me from the get-go, sending all the love right back to you, wherever you're tuning in from right now. Speaking right now on this world, we're spinning on a little marble, baby, mid-air, uh, levitating, you could say in mid space or maybe not in the middle of this, but like somewhere in space we're levitating which is pretty dope so shout out to everybody hanging in there uh again if you're t tuning in from canada anywhere in canada walk one everybody in canada south in the united states mexico south america over there in europe as per usual uh africa let's not forget uh over there in asia middle east uh new zealand australia new papua, uh, papua new guinea uh cuba uh the himalayas uh south sudan uh, uh you know drc uh korea but both of, both of the koreas uh, japan uh, taiwan S senegal uh you you get the france uh you, spain over there and uh mongolia over there and uh, it's all the stands once again shout out to everybody globally speaking it's it's april we're doing it. Thank you for joining me. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's, uh, what do we do around here? Again, if it's your first time, you're like, what's going on? We talk about literally this, that, and the other shoots the shits with each other. Have's the laugh. Just like that, baby. So hope you're doing well wherever you are. If you're not, we'll make you feel better after this video. That's right. Watch this video and you would immediately feel at least, I'm going to say 275 times better. And if it's not working, then there's, then there's, you know, I don't know what to tell you because everybody, it seems to be working on everybody else. If you don't improve two, 275X, minimum 275. There have been statistics that, you know, fucking in the 375, 400X satisfaction guaranteed. Look, satisfaction is our motto around here. We like to satisfy, you know, and that's, and that's, subjective as to what satisfying really is but let's not focus on that baby girl baby boys baby girls ladies and gents baby boys baby girls ladies and gents let's it's friday i'm feeling loose we're lit not gonna lie i hope you're litty out there as well so cheers to everybody out there let's sip on this little let's get a little caffeine in the system because it's friday mm. let's get let's get into it none in a bun None in a bun, I, you know, if you like to consume, if you are a fan of nuns, and if you like, and if you like hot dogs and buns as well, and you're like, man, I wish I could consume both simultaneously, I introducing the new and improved, never existing before up until now, actually. So it's, it's new and improved though. It's, it's new, like it's brand new and it is newly improved as well. None in a bun. Why eat them separately when you can eat both at the same time. Exactly, everybody. None in a bun, I'd like to, you know, cause that's the thing, a lot of times you're like, oh, I don't have time to grab a bun and eat a nun. And again, we did a lot of, lot of thinking about this. We, the budget on this research was exuberant. Some, some say we went overboard, some say, but when we're doing research, we, 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 like to go, we like to go the extra mile. We like to do whatever it takes. Lasers involving, you know, we'll do, oh, we'll chop it up. We will outsource. We will uh, human resource it. We will we will research it with AI and anything that monkeys in space will get them involved, dude. You don't know what we'll do, the lengths that we'll go to for the research, but that's that's what it is, baby. So giving it back to the peeps, none in a bun. Great product, you know. It's they say it's the next ego, but I'll let the market speak for itself, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What's better? Is it icing or is it cum? If you're wondering what could I be using for my cupcakes as a top, you know, what could I be using as a topping for my cupcakes? Cum or icing or some call it frosting. A little bit of frosting or it's, it depends. I'll say this. If it depends. First, are you consuming it? Is it made for somebody else? Do you know what kind of, 
you know, taste palette we're working with here. Do they prefer the sweetness or do they prefer a little bit something that's not so sweet? A little bit salty. If they like salty, go with cut. If they are a sweet tooth, go with, go with icing, go with, uh, you know, frosting. Benefits of, you know, uh, icing obviously is a little bit, it's, it definitely falls under the category of dessert, you could say. Icing is for dessert. Frosting is for dessert. Uh, and it's great because you could purchase it or make your own at home. I, I, I'm not sure how, but apparently legend has it. You can make it at home, but you, you might not have the ingredients. In which case, I would highly recommend using cum because, again, it's not as sweet, obviously, but literally, aesthetically speaking, at least, it looks exactly identical to icing or frosting. So, uh, sometimes, yeah, and it's rough out there. Maybe, you know, you don't have time to run and do a full grocery run, or maybe you're just thinking about this, that, and the other, and you forget icing, and you get home, you're like, oh, no, I gotta make cupcakes. Come. It's... Again, aesthetically speaking, at least we can. If somebody were to take a picture or make a video of cu cupcakes, one covered with cum, one covered with ice egg or frosting, put them side by side, there would no one would be able to tell. And at least maybe you're not even consuming. Maybe it's just for like the sake of you get. Maybe you're using it as uh, you know decorative purposes. Who said you're even eating the cupcakes? Yeah, what do we do? Just because we have them, we gotta eat them. And again, that is an option, of course. And they both, you know, and they both work. So, uh, again, if you're on the go, you're like, oh, I don't have time to, you know, make my own icing at home and I don't have the ingredients, boom, just bang out a sesh right there, nice tug, nice couple of, couple of nice tugs right there on, you know, maybe, a, maybe use a spoon, maybe use a spoon, maybe use some sort of like, uh, you know, some sort of, a, you know, anything, maybe get a straw, maybe get a straw suck it up in a straw and then like slowly release it on top of a cupcake or a muffin that's you know that's that's what it is so think about that let me know if you've tried either whatever works and there's you know people want to get involved and be like oh you got to try it this way you got to try uh, hot cold how do i serve it it really to each their own you got to again figure out what you like figure out what you don't like and it, it, mixing the two is an option as well i'll say this mixing the two and it just you know you get a little bit of sweetness you get a little bit of you know a little bit of salty in there and it's literally in terms of aesthetically speaking at least we can all agree that it 100 percent looks the same now as to how it tastes spectrum differs but uh, to each their own. And I like to just be like, yes, just because, you know, why not mix it up? Why not? Because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't got to, how do I keep it simple in the kitchen? I just, you know, that's one thing. You're welcome. You're welcome out there. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, it's Friday, baby. Uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Uh, you know, I'll say this. Uh, toasters, not a fan. I will say toasters, not a fan. And I've had it, you know, up to, uh, you know, I've had it up to here. I don't need to point out to, you know, I don't need to use my hand to indicate as to how high I've had it with toasters, but I've had it with toasters. It's pretty, it's up there. It's up there. Uh, it's just, you know, the pressure that puts on you, you toast toasters and you go to, you, you know, it comes in twos is what I'm trying to say. Two slots, a little bit presumptuous, a little bit of like, you know, a little passive aggressive, judgmental, sort of like what's going on in your life. Why are you, you know, assuming that you're eating for two, assuming that you're, you know, that you got a, you got a, maybe a significant other or maybe just somebody else in the, you know, and that's what it is. Just like. It puts a lot of pressure. I don't know what it is with Big Toaster, but they've been in, I, I guess they're in cahoots with, you could say, uh, you know, couples. You could say couples. Uh, twins, they're probably in cahoots with twins. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't eliminate that right off the bat. I'll say there's something suspicious going on over there. Probably, you know, two, two slots. I bet it was a twin that made, I bet it was twins or, or maybe, a, maybe a couple made Initially, maybe it was a couple who invented the toaster. And I say, you know, because that's the thing. It's just a lot of unnecessary pressure. It's just if I want one, why do I got to look at, you know, and now do I not, do I fill up, do I fill up, do I toast two now? And do I eat simultaneously? Do I eat both pieces of toast? That's, again, a lot of pressure. It's like, 
or do I just do one? And am I, am I now wasting electricity because I'm only, you know, toasting one or forget about, maybe it's not even that significant of a, it's probably nothing. It's probably minuscule in terms of electricity, but it's just like, am I like, you know, does, does the other, does the other slot feel empty now? Does the other slot feel lonely now? You know, it's just, oh, I'm all, you know, all by myself being toasty. So it's just a lot of, it's just, you know, if we can make toasters with one slot, you know, or at least have, you know, and that's, that's the thing. What if I want three? What if I want three? Why two? You know, or what if I'm having, what if I'm having people over? You know what I mean? What if I'm having like, you know, seven and a half, maybe seven and seven and seven and a quarter. You don't know. Maybe somebody's showing up with a baby who's just like, you know, growing teeth and wants to all oh, toast right there on, on your baby teeth. But it just leaves us in a very precarious position, ladies and gentlemen. I like to draw a little bit of attention. If we could please tackle this together, come up with a different number rather than just twos for toasters. I think, you know, we'd be, this is one of those things that deserves the attention. And yeah, I believe we can, together, we can make it happen. So thank you, write a comment. If you, if you think there's a better number than just two for toasters, let us know. If you've done the research, if you're like, oh man, I was hoping somebody would talk about this. And you're like, well, here it is. Green light, let's go, write a comment. Uh, speak amongst your relatives, your family members, your friends, your groups. Your, your, your cliques, your gangs, your posses, your crews, your, you know, your posses, your gangs, your, your gangs, your crews, your posses, what, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you know, at the clubhouse, at the, at the, at the pub, at the, at the, at the parking lot, at the back of the parking lot and the, and the trash can at the back of the parking lot and the trash can, the trash can, maybe you're just, you know, whatever, it doesn't even matter where you're hanging out, under the table, you're hanging out on, I don't know where you're hanging out, uh, paragliding together. I don't know what your group activity is. Uh, skydiving, you're, you've joined hands, you've made a giant circle. Maybe that's your hanging out. Maybe you're skydiving, playing pool in midair, you know, just sucking on helium tanks and just emptying out, you know, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, take a minute for a second. T take a moment. It's not just about let us be present. Let us, you know, t it's, I think we can do it together. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I'll say this. I will say this, uh, ball sacks, uh, testicles, I'm speaking uh, specifically testicle ball sacks, the, I'm, you know, it's, you look at them and it's the, it doesn't even matter what you're working with, it's, this is not, this is, I, this is just the, you know, it's just what it is. Ball sacks are essentially, you know, it's, the least amount of thought went into them. I'm, in terms of, it just looks like, you know, at best it could look like grapes wrapped in chicken skin, at best. And that's across the board, you know, there, what, what is this? Who, I'm just saying, it doesn't, and my biggest concern isn't even like, I'm fine, it's fine, whatever. But at this, I am a little bit, I'm a little, I feel like a little bit let down in terms of the pull it has. Yeah, this, I'm going to say it, man, I'm going to say it, the ball sack or the balls themselves don't have enough pull. Uh, they don't have as, as much pull as let's say compared to tits, because tits have pull. Uh, it does, you know, if you have them in certain scenarios, it might assist you into, into buying or to, into gaining a little bit more, you know, like whatever, into a little bit, you know, uh, the traditional one, the classic one is the ticket, you know, if, it, uh, if, it, if a male officer approaches you or do, you know, it, and you flash those puppies out there, there might be a little bit more of a leniency or like, all right, you have a, you have a good time, miss, with those tits. Be careful out there. Don't let me catch you again around here with those tits. They'll say something along those lines. You know, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but you know the conversations, you know the looks, the lure of the cleavage or, you know, the lure of the broad to lure the cleavage. You don't lure the cleavage itself. The cleavage is always there as a constant, as a pillar of tits. The cleavage is there, but you can adjust the, you know, boobage setting, if you will, and, and that's what it is. But, uh, you know, and that's that's the thing. You, balls don't have that same pull. It just, it's not appealing if you would to just, you know, I can't in any circumstance, you know, show a little ball sack and be like, yes, you know, favor or leniency or not that I'm even, but I'm just saying, theoretically speaking, you know what I mean? I'm just, you know, I'm for my fellas here, for the dogs. You know, ball sacks, let's do something about the PR around that bad boy. If we can somehow make it some sort of, you know, you could, that's, pro that's probably one of the last things you want to see, actually. It's probably one of the last body parts on any, hu across the spectrum of body parts on humans, ball sacks, individually isolated by themselves. You'd never want to be like, oh man, I can't wait to look at ball sacks. 
you know, just zoomed in. If you were to like be like a zoom in angle of a nipple, yes. A zoom in angle of a vag, yes. A zoom in angle of a butt, yes. A zoom in angle of a shoulder. Give me a nice elbow, yes. A zoom in on a portion of the ball sack by itself. What am I looking at here? What is this? So it's been a long time coming, but I think, you know, because we can't physically do anything to it. It is what it is and I'm happy with it. Like it just whatever's in terms of protection and whatnot. It's a little bit, it's skewed. We all know the design was not more, you know, it's whatever. But I'm just saying maybe we could do a little bit something about the PR or at least the advertising around just, you know, just putting it out there or, or not or not. Whatever the, whatever the people want. If the ball sack, you know, if the ball sack has got, you know, if it's good, it's good, dude. If it's not, then... Ladies and gents, we can maybe do something about it. If it's not a concern of yours, it's not a concern of mine. I don't even know why we're talking about this right now, to be honest with you guys. But I'm glad you brought it up since we are just talking about things. Let's get a sip of this bad boy right here. I'll say this. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying, I'm just, it's, I don't think this has been brought up. But I, is it fair to say, is it fair to say that birds are, birds are, Birds are autistic, right? I'm just, and this, is, and this is a good thing. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's actually, it's not a good or bad thing. I'm just saying birds are autistic. Specific, like, you know, if we're, think about it. All the synchronicity, all the synchronized flying, all the synchronized flybys, barely any break in focus, barely anybody, you know, everybody's doing the same maneuver. It's like, they're, they're locked in, they're doing it. And it's like all of them. So there's something going on. They're either, you know, they're either, you know, uh, try making eye contact with the pigeon. Try, dude. All the neck is moving, but the eyes are, you know what I'm talking about. So it's like, and that's just pigeons, all the other ones too. So I don't know what, I don't know if that's, if you want to, maybe labels do help, maybe they don't. I'm not here to argue about that. I'm just saying birds are, you know, which other animals does synchronize dancing or flying or any movement like that? That is peculiar to say the least. Fucking, okay. oh, hive mind, flybys, what? Without anybody breaking away, and the one guy that's breaking away, you know, he's just like, you know. So, all I'm saying is, for the most part, they are very... Damn, dude, is one of them, like, breaking out of the, you know, is one of them, like, breaking out of the synchronicity? And it's like, oh, we can, you can fly in your own way. And they're all like, get in, get in the formation, you know, they're to do the triangle. Do the diamond, diamond. All the ducks are yelling at one duck over there. It's, oh, diamond. That's a lot of pressure. That is a lot of pressure if they're aware of it. If they're aware, they're like, all right, like from 7 to 8 a.m., we're doing diamonds, 8 to 9, circles. Everybody fly in a circle. Everybody's just like, oh, man, we've not done circles in a while. And it's, you know, but they, God, it's, they probably, you know, they've got a system. It's nice. I don't know what it is, but somewhere on the spectrum, I'm assuming, and it's good, dude. You never know. One of them might be really good at math or one of them might be really good at fucking, like, you know, who knows what they're, if you can get into those little brains. Jeez, I'd like to. But also one step at a time. I don't want to full on become aware of like what's going on in animals' brains. With that on the horizon, that'd be whoa. Minds merging, melting. Who knows? We're gonna have fun. I'm looking forward to it. If that ever becomes a thing, reading animals' minds, I'm for it. You know, maybe little by little. Again, not all of it, because it's like so. You know, one step at a time. It's nice to just know that we have the option. But again, also, yeah, birds. Little sus to say the least. Little. Something's going on with birds, man. I do love birds. Got it. It is something about it though. How do they synchronize? It's so magical. I love it. It's but that's just birds, ladies and gents. Which would be amongst these four categories, if there were to be a human tossing cat if there was a competition, human tossing competition out there. Human tossing, I'm talking tossers, I'm talking people that grab other people. If there was a competition, let's say there was, you know, maybe we got an area that was all like, you know, you, it's all covered in, it, it's all, it, it's all in mud. So you can toss people in mud so they don't get hurt that bad. They could still get hurt. We're not guaranteeing they're not going to get hurt, dude. This is an extreme sport. This is an extreme sport. Rated R, bitch. You sign up for this shit. This is tossing. This isn't just for the weak of heart. This isn't just for the... Oh, yo, oh, I want to be a tosser. You can't just get up and do this shit, son. You got to, oh, some people just, it's like generational tossers or some people are like, oh, just whatever. I'm, I'm talking about two individuals, one being the tosser, one being the tossee. Who would be, you know, if ideally, if there was a tossing competition, I don't know, just like, because you could, you, you know, some people are, 
you know, say what you will, man. Some people are aerodynamic. They could, they could, some people are more aerodynamic than other people. I bet you that. I bet you if they were to be tossed, other, you know, so who's, or like maybe it's not even about being aerodynamic. It's just about, but let's get into it. And you know, it's like, who's your tosser? You know, is it like, you know, do you need them long legs? Do you need short legs, short torso, long, you know, long dick? Like, what is it? I don't know. Uh, but in terms of tossing, yeah, I, w I would say, you know, babies would probably make sense. Tossing a baby would, because I'm a, we're talking humans. They're lighter. I would assume just because of the, I think they're more aerodynamic. Man, that's, I would say babies are probably easier to toss. I would say, you know, a good 20 to 30. It's on mud. Relax. Relax. It's on mud. All right. Uh, babies would, yeah. And that's the thing. You can actually probably toss a few with babies. They'd be like, you know, because it's you're not taking up much space with that. You know, uh, I would say maybe the elderly tossing in out because that's the thing. Probably again more aerodynamic. I would assume because you like lose, you lose density as you age, right? I'm talking like you know if somebody's like 89, God, they're just, you know, they probably fly, they probably float a little bit. They might not go far, just because you might toss them and it might just like linger and like softly make a landing. So maybe you know, but that's they're still good contenders. I'll say this. So like we got babies, uh, the elderly, you know. Uh, What about the physically disabled? What about the physically disabled? I would say, if somebody's got like a physical disability, this pays good money too. This is a, you know, if somebody's like, cause that's, that's another thing, that's another ask. If somebody's like, let's say paralyzed below the neck, it's all loose. It's all just do what you will with it. You know, maybe not, maybe they won't go as far. Maybe it becomes like denser. I don't know, not denser. Maybe it would just become heavier. And so maybe it's just, maybe a dead body weight. So it'd be a little bit, cause I, I don't know, there's something about having a little bit of control cause you can like contort your body and make yourself like whatever, form into a ball or form into a little like cone or form into a like whatever shape that makes you fly best. That's to each their own is what I say. But you know, uh, would that be tossing dead weight? But at the same rate, you're not as worried about bodily damage like that. We don't need to, yeah. You don't need to sign any papers. I would say if you're like this, that's fine. You're like, again, if you fall and break something, it won't impact you whatsoever. So that's, a, that's an advantage. If there was a, t and that's where, and that's where, you know, that's a category you don't see too often where, you know, physically uh, disabled individuals get, get a little bit of that limelight, get a little bit of that attention. Fuck, dude, you see somebody just like, oh, landing, breaking every bone, but like smiling from like head up. Cause like, who cares? Like down is just, it's gone. It's, you do whatever. You can burn them and toss them. So yeah, I'm not saying you should, but I'm just saying the competition is something we're trying to, you know, maybe we could, it takes, you know, people coming together again. I don't want this just a team effort. We come in together, we pull it together. We just bring in everybody and just, you get a tossing competition, you know, we can do leagues, we can do, and you know, that's, so that's just what I'm, that's just, that's just what it is. But I'm, I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, it's good to be, you know, it's, uh, it's Friday. I'll say this, it's Friday. And, you know, yeah, cause like tossing, you know, humans would, or, or midgets would actually, you know what, yeah, midgets as well. Yes, four categories. These are, if you think there are other categories of people who'd make for great tossees, you know, and who'd make great tossers is another, you know, discussion, but again, midgets, babies, uh, the elderly, physically handicapped. I think, you know, physically handicapped, but like you, not with the wheelchair, cause that'll just be your carrying extra weight. That's like, you know, the, the vehicle has got to be light. You can't just be like, I'm balking right now. So, you know, that's just, that's just a little bit of tosser activity, but it's Friday. Let's not, you know, what are you into? Leave a comment, right? You know, check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadio. That's what you can do if you like to like, oh, let's get on board. We're doing it together. It's Friday, man. It is, uh, I'll say, you know, I'll say this in terms of, in terms of, you know, 
terms of taking your time to, you know, go into the next thing, you could take as much time as you like into going to the next thing. So take as much time as you like. Why don't we just sit here and just, why don't we just have a moment? Because far too often, you know, we go from this, that, and the other. Why don't we just have a moment? Just human to human. Just connections through the airwaves. Oh, we're connecting now. Oh, we're touching now. Our, oh, I'm inside you. You're inside me. What is going on, man? That is, it's nice to be alive, ladies and gents. It's Friday. You know, I'll say this. If it's uh, saving a life, a lot of times people are like, man, what are the traditional ways of saving a life? If somebody's, let's say, choking. If somebody's choking, you get right behind them. Traditionally speaking, classically speaking, classically trained speaking, traditionally, of course, you get behind them. Tell them you actually get in front of them. Tell them, relax for a second. You're choking there, fella. It's a good piece of steak and I'm there with you, but let's get you breathing again. You get behind them or it's a lady. Who knows what it could be? It could be, could be anything. But you get behind them and the you wrap your arms around them. You're like, hold on a sec. I'm going to Heimlich you. You wrap your arms around them, you yank up, and may maybe you get lucky and you break a couple of ribs, but, you know, ultimately the piece of steak becomes loose, flies through the air, man or woman saved, nice. That is on a regular choking scenario, but let's hypothetically say that, my goodness, you've had this fellow or lady on the ground, you pounded on their chest, you've done the Heimlich, you've done mouth to mouth, nothing is happening, the piece of steak is lodged in there, what do you do? Time is of the essence. No one else is around. The grid has gone down. There's no reception. There's no one coming. You are your own first whatever, dude. Ladies and gents, you got to help yourself or help a fella or a lady. What do you do? Heimlich has failed. Mouth to mouth, once again, failed. Pounding on chest, failed. There's a man or a woman right there. There's only one way to save them, one way only. You fuck them. You fuck them. That's right. That's how you save a life. You fuck them. No one's ever died under fucking or at least like very few people have died under the circumstances of fucking or being fucked so put them on the floor or get get i don't know find the best position but what you want to do is essentially get their eyes rolling behind their heads and pumping and or writing depending on the you know what is it badge to peen peen to badge badge to badge a little bit more difficult there but all i'm saying is no, and I think if you actually scissor hard, you could fucking, you know, it'll probably, it'll probably like get sucked into your pussy and come out your mouth, that piece of steak, which is once again, nature showing us that life is but a circle. So that's, you know, yeah, don't just stand there and we'll be like, oh my God, I'm, you know, the grid is down. I don't have access to a cell phone. Who am I going to rely on? What's going to, I've done the Heimlich. The Heimlich, the Heimlich, is, the Heimlich has failed. That's what you do. You give a, you give a couple of nice pumps or you ride somebody hard, you ride somebody, you're, you're like, yeah, could it be, it could be done, yeah, it definitely could be. Uh, and again, science speaks for itself. You know, testimonials coming in, people are writing letters, lives are being saved. How many? I've lost count, to be honest. I could say well over millions, potentially even billions, but that's just... That's just, that'd be speculation, wouldn't it? We don't go by speculation, do we? Speculate this. Speculate that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll say this. Why don't you, you know, why don't we just skirt skirt right here for a second. If we can together, once again, grab your tits, scratch your nuts, queef one out. Let's get ready for the next one. After a sip of this coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Now you're wondering to yourself. Now you're wondering to yourself. Uh, I'd like to... I'd like to, you know, get waterboarded by my lover by having them either sit on my face 
or you know vice versa maybe they like to get waterboarded by you but you know it's you're essentially sitting on someone's face sitting on someone's face you know we're talking genital waterboarding essentially how to get better at it how to improve because you know you're like i like it when my lady sits on my face and just drips all over my face but there have been occasions where i have gotten too much you know puss cum puss in my mouth and it went a little bit in my nostrils and i found myself to be in there enjoying myself having a great time but also kind of losing a little bit of consciousness kind of oh what's going on over here drowning drowning you're not drowning relax snap out of it you're not drowning there is methods of improving that circumstance so it doesn't feel like genital waterboarding it rather feels like just oh you are your face is enjoying nice puss there it is so you know the just like anything i honestly think it takes practice i honestly think it takes discipline i think it takes action i think it takes you know uh do it for you know start small i would say maybe a minute of maybe a minute, you know have your lover rub that puss on your nose on your face for about a minute keep it there it's increments that's the key you don't want to just jump in there and be like i'm gonna go you know three hours under the puss we'll get there if you want to we could get there but that little by step by step and that's the thing and have them drip constantly drip one minute you know incremental next day do two and a half minutes work your way whatever to your own liking 30 seconds a day it doesn't matter by an extended period of time you'll notice over maybe like a year or two you could she could be just opening up that faucet and you'd be just guzzling down puss juice without any concerns really it's probably become one of the most uh, relaxing activities of your day as a matter of fact that somebody you look forward to to wind down after a long day's worth of work out there or in and or where maybe you're indoors in there uh, or in between there maybe you're both in and out of well, i don't know your work situation to be honest with you it's kind of a lot of pressure to f expect me to know individually where you work in terms of outdoors or indoors generally speaking you're in between there aren't you coming and going let's just agree on that okay so having said that again do not be intimidated uh lady same sitch maybe you like to be waterboarded with the old cack as well so it's like how much cack i've seen you know it's little by little ingestion uh i've and sometimes it does it, you know again same situation might happen might come through the nose might you know uh it might get a little bit messy it probably is a little bit messy not gonna lie to you we're not gonna we're not gonna sugarcoat this we're not gonna like make it so that it, uh, it's you know it is what it is so uh one minute again work your way up two minutes three and a half minutes and uh, next thing you know you could just be literally 69ing and commuting together to work because you just become it just becomes if you could drip constantly and consume constantly it'll just you could literally save uh you know i would i would say if you come on board on a plane in a 69 position and you only paid for one seat that's you know that's muzzle right there dude that is you know hats off to you sir madam congratulations you know let's uh let's bring up a ribbon let's cut it with a large scissor why not let's hand you a plaque that is a well-deserved if you can lock into that mode just six to nine and just move about your day you know with a couple of you know a couple of those you know we'll get you we'll get you goggled up with some sort of with either google or apple we'll get you goggled up 69 and on an airplane and just you know consuming less space but really ultimately you're ultimately functioning as you're a two-in-one you're the first two-in-one essentially if you can but we're not here to like you know let's not get ahead of ourselves let's just conquer the concept of you know general waterboarding could turn into just you know oh this is this is fantastic so ladies and gentlemen i'll say this uh, don't give up continue at it uh one day you may do better the other day it might be a little bit oh, oh, oh too much but then go back at it again go back it's just repeat rinse repeat recycle you know repeat re it's it's worth a try is what i'm trying to say that's sip sip to the gang right here it's friday let us uh you know let us i'll say this ladies and gents it's uh 
I'll say this before I before I say that. I'll say this before I say that. I will say, or maybe I'll say that before I say this. Or maybe we'll just, once again, take a moment to have a human to human interaction, a real intimate, oh, we're touching once again. Souls touching through the interwebs. Minds connecting. Bodies connecting. Souls, we, we said souls, souls connecting. Spirits connecting. Internet people connecting. Regular people, human and flesh people. Not one of these fucking bots that's just trying to like, you know, lurk on about, trying to be a human, human to human in a real fucking flesh and bone shit. That's that flesh, that's that flesh. You want that flesh and bone shit? That's right here. So you come here, you get connected, the flesh and the bone which consists of meat, which consists of calcium, which consists of bone marrow. If you're a fan of that shit, I hear it's good for you, apparently. If you're a fan of fillets, if you're a fan of, you know, just uh, muscles, if you're a fan of connects, it's, and it's not just, you know, that's the way it goes. Or maybe that's the way it comes. It's the way it travels, really. It's a mode of conduct, and it's just like, is it coming, is it going? Probably in one spot, isn't it? After all, it's it's probably just in one spot, just. And that's how you. That's I think that's the secret to time travel, essentially being in one space and just, but also simultaneously being in. Another, can we get that going? Let's make time traveling a thing. Just, just putting it out there. We should. It'd be pretty dope. Or if you could just, maybe you could just like, maybe you can't time travel yet. But maybe we could like. What if we freeze body parts? What if you just freeze like neck down? And that way the brain is, cause the brain probably can outlast all the other body parts, you know, away, you know, freeze everything below the neck. I say, that's the way to go. Get an extreme, you know, and then age out with your head, but your everything else is slowed down. All you need to be, honestly, we just need to like freeze below the neck, put it in a giant ice box, put the ice box on wheels. So you're basically, Slowing down the heart rate, pumping slowly, pumping blood slowly, but enough to get you going. We just and then that's the thing: your remote, your remote control yourself all across. You, that's what we need. Essentially, I think that's the future. People in ice below the neck, Neuralink guiding yourself on a set of fours, and then uh, there is you know, Sex is probably going to be difficult to like because we're going to have you're, you could be you could probably it'd be nice to like be able to defrost it'd be nice to be able to defrost I'll say this if you can like get in your box fucking you know go like frozen but not too frozen to die or anything maintain the head come out young you could be like 125 at least with like you can keep your body at wherever you but then your head will look then your head will look old which is if you can live with a, if you can, if you can, let's say you're 25, let's say you're 35, let's say you're 40, if you can maintain your sexy 40 year old body right now, the one you got, but your head eventually turns into a 125 year old rotten piece of, you know, just you're a, you're a prune, your face is a shriveled little prune, you're beautiful for your age. You're 135 and all your face is covered in all sorts of spots and moles and all your hair is patchy and where the, you know and it's just you're decaying your face is we, we figured it out neck below but the face is falling apart rapidly holes in your face 145 with holes in your face but then you come out with a 40 year old banging body you defrost the bod rotten face banging smoking body what that bod do, that's what I say. You know, it's easy to focus on what's not working there, but again, 90% of it is all good. Packaged, you know, it's fucking refrigerated, kept in a Ziploc, and you fucking unzip that bag, come out, and it's like, yes, 37-year-old tits, let's go. Face, again, 141, just, ugh. Wow. Maybe, you know, but then by that, you know, but that's, if you're both in your 140s, vision's probably, what we probably perfected vision by then, so that's, you know, you're gonna see clearly what you're working with. Hideous face, but the body is, come on. 
Extending life, longevity, let's do it together. Ugly Faces Beautiful Bodies, brought to you by Ugly Faces Beautiful Bodies, Inc. Register today. And if you use Glad You Made It as a code, you can actually get 25% off, which is pretty fucking good in terms of discounts on shit. 25% is good. I feel it's Friday. Fuck it up. 50% off for everybody. Freeze your face, freeze your body. Do it in reverse too, that probably would work as well. Ladies and gents, it's Friday. I hope you're all having fun. I hope you are all fucking, you know, if you are, uh, if you're out there, it's the solar eclipse, I believe is coming out next week. It's that's, I keep hearing about it. I don't know what it, you know, it's, it's some sort of, you know, let's, uh, it's, you know, solar eclipse. I mean, the best way to view it, in my opinion, I've, I've, I've just seen article headlines of just like hearing a little bit about it here and there. I don't know what it consists of, but I, I think it's like a thing that, you know, has something to do with the sun. Solar eclipse, meaning covering or whatnot. And you want to, I would assume people would probably want to view it. And you're wondering as to how you should go about viewing the solar eclipse and the kind of if you get access to it, that is, I'm not sure how it works in different regions, but my, I don't think it takes an expert to figure out the best way to consume uh, the solar. If you want to be looking at the, the best way to do it, I think is just stare directly at the sun, stare directly at the sun. I think uh, that's probably the most natural, most uh, effective way of viewing it. Stare directly at the sun, do not blink. I would suggest start early because i honestly don't even know when it starts start early so like i would start from probably i think it's sometime next week i would say start right now start staring directly at the sun until next week and at one point for a period of time it'll get eclipsed and you would not have missed it because you were directly staring at the sun as to how that will impact your vision afterwards i am not here to tell you that i'm a doctor I'm not here to tell you that I'm a physician. I'm not here to tell you that I'm an accountant. I'm not here to tell you that I'm a registered, uh, you know, part-time physical therapist. I'm not here to tell you that I'm a, you know, dental assistant. I might say something along the lines of what I'm here to tell you is that uh, people are talking about it and they're wondering as to how, because it's, how do you look at it? How do you watch it? It's like, it's all, it's, you know, it feels pretty natural to me say, to say, use your eyes. I mean, what are we talking about here? We're talking about viewing something. What do you use to view everything? Your eyes. If I want to see the trees, I walk out there, stare at the trees. If I want to, you know, if you're, if you're out there walking your beautiful pet dog and I want to stare at your dog, I'll, you know, for a few seconds at least, I'll stare at your dog and I'll view your dog. If you got a nice lampshade just in the corner of your whatever, dude, I will, st you know, ladies, lampshade. My attention is locked in. I'm looking, staring, using what? My eyes. So <laughs> in some odd world, we've come to, you know, write articles about, you know, how to view the solar eclipse headlines, how to, you know, people get, you know, People losing their rights in prisons as to view their solar, it's like, open, it's right there. Just open your eyes, stare at it, and you will not miss a thing. I guarantee you. Apparently, it comes along every now and again. Let us be, let us be, whether you get a chance to view it or not, whether you believe in solar energy or solar powers or solar eclipses, whether you, what, what let's just agree upon this. Let it be a symbolic representation of what gets what what is light shall come to the light no from once the darkness covers the light there will always be light after the darkness let the symbolic rep representation of the solar eclipse represent and tell you that symbolically it, it could probably mean some along the lines of there's light in your life and there's some darkness right after it light once again let it let it be said that way or any other way really as long as it covers the basics of light dark light i think it's a good transition to be honest with you again 
stare at it directly. Do not, uh, yeah, don't miss it and be like, oh, I missed it. All you got to do directly, look at it, lock it in, pull up, windows down, tilt on the side. Slurp on a little bit of that zerp and enjoy the solar eclipse. That's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. It's uh, it's Friday. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And if you are, if you are for whatever reason finding yourself scuba diving amongst uh, you know dolphins, uh, other new species that they're finding in the depths of the ocean, and you happen to ask yourself. Uh, gosh, I wonder, I wonder what it feels like to, you know, get uh, jizzed on by a dolphin. You could always do that in the middle of the ocean. Or you are wondering what it feels like to have an octopus wrap its tentacles around your cock. Or, uh, hypothetically speaking, going inside your badge because you happen to come across some Japanese animation uh, and it was uh, pornographic of nature. So... Maybe you got some, maybe it could happen. I'm just saying, do not, you know, maybe you are out there just fishing and you are on a little boat. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you're casting a net. Maybe you are, maybe you're just out there with your rod in your hand. Maybe you're just, may the, may the, may the, may nature be with you. But also like, you know, uh, don't be, you know, it's a, it's a matter of experiences essentially is what I'm trying to say. But lastly, I'll say this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the most important question on everybody's mind today is when the earth is being jackhammered by a fella in a corner in a construction site, anywhere in the world at any point when the earth is getting jackhammered, do you think the earth, aka Mother Nature, likes that? Do you think Mother Nature is getting off that a little bit? Do you think Mother Nature every time it gets pounded is like, you know, when a fella's going to just like, you know, ram it in that jackhammer, is, is Mother Nature like, you know, you know, is that is that like working out a knot in her shoulder or like, or maybe you're hitting it in her, you know, maybe you're giving it in the right spot. Mother Nature's just like, maybe that's what it is, dude. Maybe somebody out there is doing jackhammering on a construction site and the next thing you know, you see a, you see a volcano erupt, you're hitting the right spot. I mean, to us, it might seem like something else, but I think there's something there. You're just going, oh, jackhammer right here, right here for half an hour. Next thing you know, pops off in wherever island and next thing you know, it's trying to make sense of it all, but I think, you know, if not, if she's not, if, if it's not making her come, at least she must be like, you know, it's just like, oh, this is, a, it probably feels nice. It's probably getting like a little bit of, you know, large scale, it's probably like a little bit of a, at least, a, the least you could say it's like a manicure or a pedicure for the earth if you're jackhammering for a second or ah, oh. but that's, uh, but that's just, that's just what it is. But I'll say this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that I was a little bit disappointed because I ran through uh, Pound Town the other day and I'm just trying to like any, any average person out there, you know, you go to pound town, you're like, I'm going to pick up some items, you know, worth of weight. And all I saw was, uh, you know, people, fucking people just, uh, getting, getting ran through essentially, uh, pipe down, if you will, uh, you know, just getting the box work and put, and it was, it was. And, I, and I'm looking around and I'm like, I just want to purchase some, anything really, any object, any, anything, uh, but I wanted to purchase it by weight. That's hence why I went to Pound Town and everywhere I just walked around and all I saw it was just people fucking and I, and I eventually I'm like, are there any stores that sell anything by weight? Hence the place being called Pound Town. And not one store inside, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what kind of sick game Pound Town is running. I don't know what kind of, you know, mind games, you know. What kind of uh, house of mirrors is this, man? Because you say one thing, next thing, you know, I'm, you know, cash in hand, ready to purchase by the LBS. And I'm just, you know, it's a swingers fest there. And I'm not, like, if I'm prepared for it, yes. If we're... First, if we're, if we're there like swapping spit and all other forms of bodily fluid, if we're if a little bit of like a little bit of heads up, but, but I'm there to do business. I'm there to, you know, help the economy, but also enjoy myself as a consumer. So pound town a little bit. And I asked these people, I, I run into some people I'm like, you know, anywhere where I could, you know, 
get some pounds. And they're like, you got a pound it right here. And I'm like, what are you talking about, fell? I'm just talking about weight. And he's like, hang on to this. And it, it's like, it got out of hand. And I gotta say, Pound Town, think about renaming that name. Think about uh, a new name for your town. Just saying. Disappointing a lot of people, yes, all the sex available. But uh, if you're like me, and you were just looking to buy some, you know, some cheese by per pound or ounce or, you know, half a kilo of bread or, you know. But whatever, it wasn't a, it wasn't a full, it wasn't a full, like, I still make the best of every situation, but I'm just saying. So I'll say this, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, where can you find these videos? Wednesdays, Fridays, dropped on Instagram. Follow me there. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. That's what we do around here. Check out patreon.com slash Rob If you'd like to fiscally, financially support the show, become a member. It's a very small little teeny tiny little podcast that's growing in your fucking hearts. Oh, it's grow. I'm growing in your hearts. And you're growing in my hearts too. I've got multiple hearts. You don't know that. Maybe I got fucking six raccoon hearts in there. Got plenty of space for all you little. Oh, you love you little. Oh, get it out there. Go have fun. It's the weekend. Sip, sip to the gang. Peace out. I'll see you guys next week.